And then this one is Davis Peak. If you spend any time with park ranger Denise, she'll regale you with tall tales of bears, monkeys, and an extinct weasel. They're really beautiful, and, um, and if you do get to see them, you'll be really lucky. More on the weasel in a moment, but first, the crown jewel along North Cascades Highway. It's a nice windy road through green forests, and then you come out to vistas and overlooks like this, and it really is quite stunning. Diablo Lake is always a real looker, but in late summer, it becomes downright chameleonic. As the glaciers move slowly across the rock, it actually grinds the rock into a really fine powder. And when the glaciers melt, that powder comes down into the creeks and into the lake. Turning it an icy green. It remains a mystery why it's called Devil Lake in Spanish, but the island behind... I think that one is Monkey Island called monkey because legend has it they used to stock it with monkeys to wow electricity tours boating by. The Diablo Dam is one of three power plants nearby. And look out, just about 15 minutes down the road. Well, we have black bears that are certainly around and about, and we encourage people to look at those from a distance. At the visitor center, you may learn a bit about bears and be able to touch a stuffed one that was hit by a car. Just a 30-second boardwalk away is one of the most unusual mountain peaks around. On the left there, it's called the Chopping Block. About a half hour the other way from Diablo. Snow is still on the ground as you climb your way to Liberty Bell Mountain. And wherever you are, you may spot an elusive fisher from the weasel family. Extinct from the area for decades, they recently released 26 of them. We're hoping that they're going to find each other and make more little baby fishers that will actually be able to get the population back going again. And you'll want to get going to the road that puts the scenic in Scenic Highway. <laughs>